Hello, Monsters Abound here. I've had literally no one ask me, Monsters Abound, how do you maintain such a punishing recording schedule? Well, I'm not going to give away all my secrets, but the main one is time management. Do you know we spend a third of our lives asleep? Do you know how much time you can save by not sleeping? You can go 18 days without sleep before you go insane and become a gibbering wreck. That's 17.9 days you can save and more hours you can record videos in. Alongside that, eating takes up a lot of your day. Eating three meals a day is inefficient and poor time management. That's why I've combined the three meals a day into one that I call brunchener. What's a normal brunchener, you ask? A lovely bowl of cornflakes with a dash of creamy mushroom soup and a saffron bun on top. Mmm, nutritious. And just the fuel I need to record videos. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go and collapse into a pile of my own vomit. But before I do that, welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and part 7 of my Avalon campaign. Last time, we, we kicked the ever... Oh. Safari got its head kicked in. So, I mean, if, if Ilariel was upset with the naughty elves trying to take her magical kingdom away, she's fucking furious about the good elves trying to do it. Oh, So we've managed to recapture the whole of Avalon. And we are going to now move on Tor Finu and capture some more territory. Um, at the same time, the Shrine of Cain is almost finished. We've just one more turn, and the Shrine of the Widowmaker will be will be ready to go. We're probably not going to to pull the Sword of Cain just yet. That would probably be a bad idea. Public order is actually dropping. Why is that? Uh, it's because we don't have a pub. Oh, we really, we really need a public build or public order building here, don't we? Uh, yes, we do. Let's get a plaza there. That, that seems sensible. <laughs> and yeah, so we, we, I mean, we could pull the Widowmaker. We're probably not going to. It didn't work out so well for Anaria. Well, it, it did. It kind of, it, it, it did, but it didn't. It's, it's sort of a, a double-edged sword. Did you get, did you get that? Double, because it's a sword. Well, it's not actually, the you know what? The, the sword of Cain isn't always a sword. It, it depends. It, it's, it depends on who's looking at it. So Malekith, for example, saw a scepter. Tyrion saw a, a sword like Sunfang. Marathi, I'm guessing probably a big dildo, something like that. Not sure. Uh, I wouldn't know what Alariel saw it as. Probably like a staff or something, I best guess. But um, no, we're probably not going to pull it, but we are going to defend it to make sure that no one, no one can do it behind our back. It might actually be an idea if Alariel could actually go and visit can go and visit Nagrathi again just to up their public order but I feel like we need to push forward maybe I can recruit someone to just keep the peace uh, can we get any we are Ill at ease. you've only got one mm. can only get one of those okay okay I do want to build the world route entrance at some point, because I think tree men and tree kin are are good units. How do we get more handmaidens? Ah, there, the handmaidens gallery. That would be the one. So we probably want to build that because we we do we can get more handmaidens, and I don't know what they do. They stimulate growth. Okay, what do nobles do? Uh, right, law masters. Spread public order. That's kind of what we want. Nobles increase trade. Well, yeah. I mean, that's that's Arnold's job. Talking of Arnold. Arnold, would you come down here? I want to talk to Astilia. Where is Astilia? Well, they don't have Bill Bailey. Uh, can I have an non-aggression pact? And a trade agreement. And will you give me some money? Not all that much money. How about some less money? Slightly less money? More or less money? That much money? Empire's blessing. Yes. Okay. Good 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 show. Good sh oh. Ah. Uh right. Not not sure if they're gonna last very long. Uh but but Good good job getting in there, Arnold. Good good work. Uh Tyrion. And Alistair. Alistair the White Lion is a special 
hero that I think was made... Is it made by um, a Make-A-Wish thing? I think it was... I think it was done... Uh, yeah, so I think he's, he's like a, a, a mini legendary lord. Like a special lord. Which is quite cool. Okay, let's end the turn. We're going to head for Torfinu. I think Torfinu... I don't think they've got much in the way of garrison. Nope, teeny tiny. Uh, but uh, that's not where they're recruiting their units from. I was hoping that maybe we could like cut off their unit production, but we're not going to be able to do that. I'm a little bit worried about Tor and Lek and its, uh, its public order as well. It's going down seven a turn. That's quite a lot. We should be able to slow it down. Uh, Norskra and Marineberg gone to war. Kothik has been destroyed and we've lost our trade agreement with them because of that. Thank you, Tyrion. Guardian of the Everqueen, my ass. Didn't lift a finger to deal with Safari, is he? Hmm? Not a sausage. Which ironically is exactly what's going to happen to him. Okay, so Kothik has been destroyed. We've got the altar. Within the shrine, the altar of Cain has finally been constructed. The sword of Cain is ready to receive a new owner. So we need to have a garrison lord at the shrine of Cain to claim it. So we're not going to do that. We are, however, going to march on Torfinu. And we're going to give the Horn of Aisha to, to Siobhan, because she's awesome. And I'm I'm just going to auto resolve this. I think it should be okay. We fight for the greater good. Yeah, that's okay. You should and not be here. we did have a quest to sack it, but I don't feel that's very ever queeny, is it? You will never hold us. We're just going to occupy. And Alario was an executioner. Oh, uh, we didn't execute captives, did we? I don't think we did. It's, it's just. S slander. That's what that is. Absolute slander. Um, yep, yeah, so next episode, depending on what the poll says, we'll, we'll go for one of these um, because I've had to record a few, few videos in, in a row. So I haven't had a chance to... The poll hasn't actually had a chance to go out yet. So that's that's why that's not that's not done. Uh, but what are we going to get? Uh, let's go for Elven Healing because I think just, you know, casualty replenishment, it's just... It's just too good. Plus, you know, we've taken a bit of damage there. Could do with a bit of replenishment. Looks like the the White Tower is next on the hit list. We will need to replenish a little bit. What have we got here, though? So we've got the Iron Mine. That's very nice, because that actually will reduce the upkeep for certain units. And also give us great weapons. We'll be able to research great weapons. Interesting. And uh, we've got more Elven Trinkets there, which is very, very good. I think we probably want to... Actually, what's public order here? Public order is climbing there. That's fine. I think we probably want to switch over to public order here as well. Uh, oh, is there, is there not? There's no public order uh, commandment. Okay, we'll just stick with growth then. Hopefully, we can upgrade the plaza. That will staunch the... Uh, the flow of public order a little bit. Okay, okay, so far, so good. Let's just double check on the old... Maybe we can... Uh, trade agreement. No, non-aggression pact, even. Alright, how about we give you a little bit of money as well? 300? Um... That much? Those who displease me do not live to tell us. Look, I'm I want an aggression pact and I'm giving you money for it. Dark are these oh alright, screw you then. Bretonia. We actually had a train agreement with Bretonia to start off with, but then we lost. Right, let's give you a medium gift. 
That should hopefully, there we go, we're going up to 35 there. How much money do we have? 922. Okay, we'll, we'll save that. I might do the same with Carcassonne, but I feel like, Brito I mean, Bretonia should start confederating with some of these other... Uh, what the tits is that? Is that Norska? Is that a... Is that a Nurgly one? It's a Nurgly one. There's lots of weird little... Look at that. It's a bit creepy. It's a bit weird, isn't it? Oh well. Um, oh, Eel Paravon has captured Eelhot. Interesting. Okay, at let's check attitude. Okay, trade, 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 trade. Bretonia Empire. Be at peace, for that is all I well, all I ever want is a sodding... Alright, I'll give you that. On it. I'm on accepting the money you gave me. Yeah, sure, whatever. Okay, well hopefully we'll get a trade agreement with them at some point. That would be grand. Arnold is going to... Oh, I've got to move him. Let's go and see if we can find Tilia. Maybe even the dwarves. I mean, the dwarves would be... It would be tricky to get a trade agreement with because they'll have an aversion towards us. But I think... I think it'd be worth it. Because dwarves usually do quite well for themselves unless they're getting stomped by the orcs. Right, Safari is... Yeah, they, they don't have an army. Safari do not have an army. Their, their strength ranking is incredibly low. They'll probably accept a peace, a peace treaty now. But, um, unfortunately... Oh, the creepy uncle's back. No, go, on, go, go away, grabby hands. When you give me a hug, it's a little bit of squeeze on the bottom, which is just a little bit too, too much. Okay, capture and occupy the following settlement. These lands once ruled by your ancestors. It is time they were returned. Well, as soon as that was next on the... Uh, kill your darlings. Uh, there are enemies of the Asur everywhere. The enemies of the Asur are enemies of the world itself. To the west of Dark Elves plot the destruction of all life. So corrupted have they become that they and their ilk cannot be suffered to survive. Of life. Okay, we could lay siege right away. Those white lions are going to be an absolute bastard to kill, aren't they? What do we have that could deal with them? Well, Siobhan, obviously. Siobhan would kick the crap out of them, but... Um, I mean, we could just shoot them to death. They don't have shields. Got lots of Lothan, Seaguard, archers, and so on and so forth. Mm, mm, okay, okay. I don't... Th I th think... I think it's... It's worth going for it right away. They do have an army there. It is starting to recruit units. So, three turns. Oh, they might have too much of an army by then. We could bypass the White Tower. And go straight for Port Elister. Because if we can catch a Port Elister, that should be... I don't think they have any recruitment buildings here. No. So they would then not be able to recruit, but on the other hand... No. Can we talk... Port Elister has... Oh, it's got a war hall. Could take us several turns to get down there. problem is they've got a lot of archers which means trying to smash the gate in with a ram will probably end us end up with us getting perforated needs us. Hmm. To battle. okay I've changed my mind Further onward. we're gonna hit Port Elister 
because they should be only, only, only able to get a few un, uh, turns of recruitment. We can capture Port Ellister and then head straight for the the, uh, the the White Tower. That's the plan. That's what we're doing. Okay, we need better public order buildings here. It's slowed down. Let's see if we can uh, slow it down even more. To be honest, I think getting a tower... I mean, the garrison here is is really, really beefy. But getting walls on top of that would, would be very, very helpful. And we've got the Phoenix Gate here. So that's going to stop most 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 armies from getting inside and, unless they bypass it. Because obviously if like one of the Dark Elf factions isn't... If, if they land and they're not at war with, like say, for example, Illyrian, they can just walk through that gate. It doesn't, doesn't actually stop them. It's a bit of a, bit of a problem. I wonder, can we can we help out? Can we assault units? The enemy. I am sorry. No, he can't. Well, he, you know, he did a, he did his best. He he tried. He is Arnold Rimmer. Um, let's give him specialist upgrade that because that's going to increase his success chance, reduce the cost of performing actions. We don't have an awful lot of money at the moment, so that's that can only be a good thing. Okay, we're heading for Port Ellister. We're going to grab that first. Cut off their supply of units. And then lay siege to the White Tower. Might head for Torfinu. Okay. I mean, it's not really an issue if we lose that. Uh, Estilia is dead. Well, I mean, that trade agreement didn't last very long, but sod's law. Uh, bird brained? No. Slovenly? No. Unfortunate. Locking themselves out of rooms? That badly. That bad batch of oysters. The one straight arrow. This one is more than simply unlucky. Well, Bell, Eileen, you're up. Princess of the Indeed. Mm, well, yes, yes, you can. Okay, what garrison do we have at Tor Soroya? Okay. Let's get a couple of uh, a couple of spears. Let's get one spear. I think we can afford that. What can we do if we just move? I'm just going to scooch over there. They'll be able to recruit more units, but only for one turn. Then we'll capture Tor Elistor and like cut off their unit production. They might grab Tor Finu, but they won't be able to grab Tor Soroya. I don't think with, with Bell, Eileen there, and also the garrison. Do we... If I don't recruit you, can I build a wall? No. Okay. In that case, get get a spearman. Okay. Oh, uh, Arnold. Where are you, Arnold? Okay, well... Let's go and see if we can secure... Let's go and... You can go to some Skaven parties instead. That'll be fun, won't it? Tilia. We've met Tilia. We should probably see if we can get a trade agreement with them. Where's Tilia? There you are. Deliver your message. No, no. All right, ch ch chill. Uh, Tilia are actually strength rank four at the moment, which is a little bit weird, but okay. My concern was if they attacked us, if they if they'd recruited for a couple of turns and then attacked us with the garrison, that would have been a very tough fight. So my hope is they actually come and attack us, because if they come and attack us, they won't get the garrison. 
because we're too far away from the settlement. And if they don't attack us, they'll lose their troop recruitment. Okay, they're going for Torfinu. That's fine. I'm not overly concerned about that. Uh, Princeling's agent character successful assassination attempt against the following character. I would actually like to do that because that would give me a, a gold sigil sword, but still. Okay, let's capture this. Darkness is kept at bay. Occupy. Thank you very much. I got a lion stand. It makes it immune to psychology. Sure. Alario is going to take. I was temp. Well, Chaos Bane. No, Aisha's blessing though. On the other hand, more winds of magic power reserve. I've been, I've been umming and ahhing about that for a while. Aisha's blessing is only granted to the worthy, those who seek to protect life rather than take it. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to destroy that. That means if we leave this settlement and they retake it, it won't do them any good. Siobhan, you, my dear, are a bit of a, a bit of a beast. Okay, so next rank you can get Lieutenant of the Ever Queen, which is very nice. Hawkish precision for all archers, Lothan, Sea Guard, Shadow Walkers, Shadow Warriors, and Handmaidens. Sounds nice. Um, but we are going to go for. You need to spend four skill points, so we're going to get hard to hit, just to make you even more tanky and melee. And we are losing money at the moment. Mm, there's not much we can do about that. Unless we can get like a trade agreement with someone? I have been working on, on Bretonia and the Empire. Thank you. And the Empire? Yes. Friends of the Empire. I don't agree with that. Oh come on, Carl. Alright, well that's that's a little bit better. Okay, if we can capture Torfinu. then we've got this. So they can recapture Port Elliston, but it doesn't matter because they won't have any troop recruitment buildings left. I could have sacked it, but it's just not very Everqueen. It doesn't feel Everqueeny, and I I need to feel Everqueeny. Okay, got the Star of Avalon quest issued. Sat in the Dadium, worn upon the Everqueen's brow, the Star of Avalon is a jewel of immense power. It has been cursed by Helbron. The crone has twisted the will of a once loyal handmaiden. The breaking of such trust, trust a loss keenly felt by Alerial has affected the power of the star. The Everqueen must replace the traitor and so fortify herself against further attacks and betrayals. So we've got Swift Sense, and that's the Eagles. And uh, do we have... Oh, I guess may as well um, rank two for Lothan Sea Guard units. Yeah, sure. Okay. Of light. Oh, are we going to take a. Tr mm. I don't want to take attrition. Greetings. We shall march. Be a bit of a pain. They don't seem to want to. Serving the gods. Can I maybe try a little ambush? See if they want it. Want their port back. Not that it'll do them much good, of course. Can I offer assistance? 
As soon as they haven't moved on to they are recruiting more units though. But we can get walls in two turns. Will that be enough? Mm. Will that be enough? And can we get a trade agreement with anyone else? Is it time? Come on, Carl. Peace, for that is all I ever want. No, no. Carl. The what? Nordland. Greetings on behalf of the Empire. Now, what brings you here with a sheath blade? Well, I wanted a trade agreement, but you don't want to give me one, so screw you. Carcassonne. Those seeking my counsel usually kneel. Well. No evil doer may receive the blessings of the lady. I'm like literally the opposite of an evil doer. I know the way. Okay, we don't want to. I I would like you to go to some Skaven parties, but I can't afford it at the moment. Come on, Safari. You know you want poor Elistor back, don't you? Don't you? I'm sure you do. Okay. That might not necessarily be unwinnable. God, I hope those weren't important. Oh well. Uh, Alarian Reeve archers are dicks, apparently. They just knocked over They're someone's house. Some sort of travelling salesman. He's now out of business. That's his livelihood. He's probably going to starve on the streets. Shameful stuff. Never mind. Okay, so we've got a large... Well, we've got a small enemy army approaching us. They've got some shadow warriors over here. They're quite nasty. They've got some Lothar and Seagull with shields, which are really nasty because I don't really have an answer for them. Apart from just letting them soak up huge amounts of fire. You're calling me a lower race? You absolute tit. Oh, well, never mind. Our archers are out front. We're going to have a little missile duel with the Shadow Warriors. The Shadow Warriors are probably more accurate, and I think they've got slightly more weapon damage, but they don't have shields, and there's only one of them, so they are going to suffer some quite severe damage. We have Alarian Reaver archers trying to get around behind the enemy army, but their princess is, is sniping. Our horses from under us. If we can get behind the Lothurn Sea Guard with shields, then we can start pumping some arrows into them, and that's going to cause them a little bit of a little bit of problem. It's also going to draw off a unit of spears as well. Our archers have done fairly well, not actually taking much damage in return, but they're going to pull back behind the spears before the enemy spearmen arrive. In fact, what they're going to do is pull over to the right flank. Meanwhile, our spearmen are going to charge the enemy. Make sure they're all tied up. There we go. That's good. Our princess is going to get stuck in there as well. Now our archers are flanking around. And they're going to open fire on the unprotected flank of the enemy spearmen. Of course, they don't, can't use their shield then. They're going to take a lot of damage. They can't pull out of that combat either. So they're stuck there and they're going to die. The Alarian Reaver archers are continuing to just skirmish. They're taking a lot of fire from the Lothurn Seaguard. Probably should have focus fired on the Lothurn Seaguard at this point. But we're too busy dealing with the spears. You can see the spearmen. Huge chunk taken out the side of them there. Spearman v Spearman, the combat is quite slow. Add some archers into the mix and suddenly it goes a little bit faster. Already that unit is wavering. Princess is, is doing quite well as well, despite the fact that she's obviously got less missile resistance than, than she should have. She's only got 5% missile resistance. We advance. 
because she's unlucky. The Alarian Reavers being focus fired do their best. They're going to charge. Loth and Seagard hopefully do some damage to them. Probably could have held on to them a bit longer, but they were being focus fired. They weren't going to last much longer, to be honest. So they're going to break and run, but one unit of enemy spears is broken and running. They're off, and we're dealing with the second one. They're now wavering. The unit of spears is coming back to the fight. Our spearmen, rather than flank the enemy, are holding position because we know that the enemy spearmen are probably going to come back to the fight, and we don't want to block the line of fire for the archers. So here comes that other unit of spearmen. We've got this unit of spearmen coming back to the fight as well. Bit of a clash there. We're also taking some fire from their archers. We're going to try and focus down some of these Lothurn Seagull, but those shields are just an absolute pain in the ass. There he reaves in the distance there, coming back. They're going to suicidally charge the Lothurn Seagull. That's their job. Another unit of spears coming back to the fight. They don't want to break. Looks like we're winning this fight. Uh, no, it doesn't. It says we're losing, but I don't quite understand why, considering we've got more health and more members of the unit than them. So we're actually going to lose this fight, despite the fact that uh, this unit has got 36, 34, 20. Well, I suppose they do outnumber us. Things are looking a little bit dicey. This unit is close to breaking, but it just refuses. This fresh unit of Spearman has come into the fight and is going to win. Uh, we are running low on ammo. And archers. I mean, to be fair to, to our princess, she's been doing good work. She just chopped off someone's head there. But she's getting stabbed by quite a few arrows. I mean, she's racked up 53 kills. That's 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 commendable. If only we had... If, I've, if only I'd recruited a few more... If I had enough money, I could have recruited a few more units. And I think this battle would have gone significantly better. Oh, here we go. We're losing ground. The enemy is... Yeah, there's still too many of them. Units breaking over here. The spearmen, spearmen are getting overwhelmed. And then these spears are going to go charging into our archers. This unit's broken. Only our princess and a unit of spearmen and our archers now holding the ground. But they're not going to be able to hold forever. This is unfortunate because that means we will lose Tor Soroya. There's the Shadow Warriors coming to finish the job. There we go. Archer's breaking and our princess is going to break. And we've lost the battle. Okay, that was disappointing. But it's not the end of the world. Well, it, it is the end of Bell Aline, but yeah. But we have managed to capture this army in an ambush. Uh, what's this? The Lion Standard, immune to psychology. Um, I guess let's give the Treekin immune to psychology anyway. They cause fear. They are immune to psychology. Okay, what about these? Okay. Give. Give the line standard to the Scions of Mathlan, and we'll just auto-resolve that one, because it shouldn't be too difficult. How did they kill 82 and 47? I'm going to... I'm going to... Uh, execute captives? Yeah, we'll execute the captives. Oh, of course, because they're not connected anymore. Shit. I keep forgetting that. That means I've got to get all my trade agreements again. Oh. Okay. 
So a superior attacker. Iron Curse. Juby wants it. Winds of Pain. Sure, sure, sure. Killed that guy. I mean, they can recruit units because they have Torsoroya. But only spearmen and archers. If I attack right... Oh, I just don't think I can take it. Right, we're going to head for Torfinu. If we can capture Torsoroya, Torfinu, destroy that army, they won't be able to recruit anything. They can no longer recruit units in this province. They don't have any building to, to do it with. Mistress of the Undying Forest. Evershell. We might lose Evershale. But say, I mean, the worst they can do is basically just run away from us. They might be able to run to Trawdranil. Even if they do, the garrison there's better than the one at Torsoroya. No. And they're going to have to at least wait a few turns of replenishment. Light on the so. I'm going to leave that. Let's go with that. Arnold's heading deeper. Along the coast. We, oh, we might be able to get trade agreement with the, the border princes. Maybe Barak... Well, obviously we need a... Sodding. I mean, it, it it shouldn't really matter that we don't have a port, considering we've got a capital that's in the middle of the sea. You'd think, anyway. Tilia do indeed have a quite strong army. At least they won't fall to the, the Skaven. Right away, anyway. Yeah, you're buffing. You're you're reinforcing your army as much as possible. Oh, what are you doing? What are you up to? What's the plan? Okay. Right. Do we really have to? Greetings, Mathan. We're going to. I don't know why I couldn't land there. We're going to head straight for Torsoroya. Hopefully, catch them. Trying to cane. I think Tordrinil is probably okay. Public order is not great. Could up. Unlikely. I don't think they're, they feel strong enough, but I don't. I, mean, I could recruit a lord. It's a lot of money, and I probably won't get anything. You'll probably just die. Ready. So I won't worry too much about that. Right, uh, Arnold? Purpose. Do you want to just carry. Carry going through? Ooh. Deliver your message. Non aggression pact? Of course. Thank you. Skaven don't like... Well, yeah, I mean, the Skaven were never going to really like us. To be honest, it's probably best to, to concentrate on killing them. They're not actually recruiting any more units. They have replaced a militia camp at Torfinu. But actually, I don't mind that. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. If if only Torsoroya had held, that would have made life a lot more easy, a lot a lot easier. It was close as well. It was very close. I think on an easier difficulty level, I probably would have won that one. I might get lucky and Safari might decide 
to try and kill me. I need to take Torfinu because otherwise they can start recruiting units. What are you going to do? You're going to go after Evershale? You're going to go after Evershale. Okay, you have Evershale. And I guess we'll clear up behind you. Right. They haven't recruited any more units. They've taken that. Okay, that's fine. We're going to take Torfinu. Thank you. Got Fobane for Alariel. Bonus first large. And the Storm Riders, the Lothurn Seaguard. The sight of the Storm Riders' banner strikes fear into the hearts of even the most merciless Druki. And do I want to grab them? We don't really have the money. I'm going to leave that as it is for the moment. We can grab Torsoroya. They, I mean, they're recruiting more units now, but we can grab Torsoroya next turn. I think we can reach it. Fairly sure we can. And then they can't recruit any more units. The worst thing they could possibly go is go for Tordranil. But the garrison there is is pretty beefy. I don't think they will have Never. enough units to do that, especially if we like recruit a lord there or something. So we can take Torsoroya. They then have no no recruitment building, so they can recruit a lord in the White Tower, and then he'll just sit there doing doing nothing unless they replace one of these buildings. But yeah, that'll take time. So for the moment we're secure here. We can just chase down that army, come back, lay siege, kill them. Probably would have been better to just, you know, take the White Tower. But I was worried that if they just created an army and waited, we needed those siege towers. The longer we waited, the more of an army they had, they could have just overwhelmed us potentially. So I made my decision and I sort of stick by it. Anyway, uh, Siobhan, you are going to have Lieutenant of the Ever Queen because that increases your bonus versus large by plus 10. One of the Ever Queen's inner circle, highly trusted, they will gladly die if the Ever Queen if called upon to do so. And I'm also going to give you the Fobane because that's going to make you even better against large units. Which means you can probably go and hunt like cavalry units down for me. That'd be quite useful. And Alariel's skill point, I'm going to wait. Because depending on what the poll shows, that's the skill point we'll spend. Unfortunately, that means we are running out of time, so I'm going to have to leave it there. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.